was our daughter's name and um I had her yesterday um I ended up catching a, a cold last week dealt with some constipation which triggered um contractions which I went to the hospital they stopped the contractions but I think two days um, into being in the hospital, I um, I went to the bathroom and I urinated and my water broke. Um, I don't want to go into so much detail, but um, I was praying that the contractions would stop and they didn't. And I was even trying to hide the contractions because the doctors have basically said that there's nothing that they can do or get me to stop it. Um, even when my water broke, one doctor, she checked me and I was crying. I was crying so bad. And um, they said that, you know, even if your water does break, you can still carry the baby. But the, contract, the contractions started. And they had no choice because then I started bleeding. I started hurting. They had to remove the stitch. Last night, um, my doctor, when he came in and checked, I was four centimeters dilated once he removed it. I did get an epidural in which my left side right now is... Um, my my left side of um, well, my leg is is still numb. Um, I'm not going to show you all of the pictures of her, but this was her um this this was um her little dress that um they give for premature babies um and this was the cloth in which I held her. Y'all, my little, my baby was, sorry, I'm so sorry. This, y'all, this, this is an, an emotional taping. So if you're pregnant, maybe it might not be a good time for you to look at this. Um... Who was born at, I think, midnight or 12.45. She didn't go, she did not pass away until about 5.45 in the morning. I kept kissing her. <laughs> kissing her, holding her, kissing her. And um, the hospital, they did take some pictures. Um, they took some beautiful pictures. I also took pictures too because of my last pregnancy with Melody. But here's her little feet. And um, so I just wanted to give you ladies an update because I know you're like, what happened, Mona? But um. My baby went on to be with the Lord. She came too soon. Um, Wednesday. 
Today is Monday, Wednesday. She would have been 20 weeks. She would have been 20 weeks. Just like her sister. Um, I didn't see it coming. I, I have a really bittersweet um, the way I feel right now is I, I, very, I feel defeated I feel discouraged I feel lost um, my milk has not come in yet but I know that's that's going to happen um, I was so close and I would say to myself, I was in the hospital, if I can get four more weeks for her to be vital, I mean, <laughs> or if I can get eight more weeks. <laughs> they also gave little things, uh, a little memory box. It says, by remembering, we keep what's what's precious and most special treasure forever. Um, they gave me, uh, they gave me her little measuring tape, you know, what they measured her with. Um, and, uh, um, I thought this was really cute, and I'll put it around my necklace. Um, his special memory I have like a little ring for her. Um, my husband named her Harmony Michelle. She was born on the 6th of April, 2014, at approximately 1131. Um, she weighed 10.5 ounces, um, 0.297 grams. She was 8.5 in inches and 21.6 in centimeters. Um, there's her little band. Um, I held her very, very long. As long as she had breath, and even when she didn't have breath. I was so tired. My mother was there, and my husband was there when we delivered her. And I know some of y'all, I know, I know what the first word is. I'm sorry for your loss. I thought the first one knocked me down. The second one punished me. But the third, I do feel defeated. I, I don't know what to do. We are not, I'm not trying Anytime soon. And I mean a couple of years soon. Um, it hurts when you lose a baby. Every pregnancy is different. Um, my doctor has said over and over again that I have a weak cervix. My cervix is weak. There was a doctor there by the name of Dr. King, and she specializes in uh, these type of cases. And she said that I need to give my body a rest. Um, and it's so ironic because as soon as I get home, the grass looks greener, everything's coming into bloom, and before you know it, August will be here. I'm not going to lie to y'all. Um, of course I prayed. Um, it just didn't come out the way I wanted it to. I'm upset. 
I'm, I'm furious. I cried the whole time. Um, am I going to be bitter from it? No. I just, I had plans for her. And you guys saw, I had, I had a lot of plans. But I think, um, too, I'm just going to fall back a little bit from vlogging. Just so I can get my thoughts together. Um, all the pregnant ladies out there, take it easy. Um, those of you who just um, received the bad news of not having a heartbeat or losing a baby, I, of all people in the world, understand. It's a precious thing to be pregnant. Very precious. It's a humbling thing. And even when I had her, you know, just those minutes with her, they said her heartbeat had went so low that it was a probability that she may not have been born alive. My little girl, Harmony Michelle Hines, is a fighter. That baby is a fighter. She held on for over five hours. And I kissed every inch of the little inches and um, her frame, her feet, her hands, her head, her lips. Uh, she, she, she needed to know that I love her and very much. So I just wanted to tell y'all that, um, that's why I was MIA. Um, it started off so minor. <laughs> It started off with a cold, with running to the emergency room, with um, constipation, which triggered contractions. Then they stopped the contractions, and I was in the hospital in in the bed. And every every I want to say like every four minutes, I had to go to the bathroom. There's nobody that can really say anything. Um, I'm sorry for your loss. Yeah, I'm sorry too. Um, thank you. Thank you. But, um, y'all, this is my third. <laughs> And you know what? I just pray that everybody makes it to their full term. I would not want anyone to go through what I went through. And anyone. I'm not even sure if I'm so stuffy. I don't even know if you ladies can even hear me right now. But my precious Harmony was born yesterday. She lived for five hours and she was a fighter. I mean, she was every, they knew you're not going to take my baby away, especially with a heartbeat. And the ladies there were so nice. They kept checking her and said, she has a heartbeat. And she moved too when she came out. She moved and she, anyway, um, this is my update and I probably won't be updating anytime soon. Um, but I just wanted to let you ladies know what was going on. What can you say? Some things we go through life. But we have to remember that God said he would never leave us or forsake us. I got 
a lot of things on my mind as a Christian woman. Sometimes I get tired. I've been praying for my mama that she get blessed. I pray for my friends and fam that they be blessed. But the last blow put me in a mess. I guess everything will always have an ending. And Lord, you would tell us what the true beginning means. What it mean? I had two kids, now they with you. I miss my brother, now they with you. Lord, I thank you for dying for our sins, and now we can all be brand new.